Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. I am so happy to welcome you today to the Cards TV 3D Designers Blog Hop. We're going to have so much fun today, guys. The 3D Designers have all got some awesome things for you to see. And there's blog candy too. So make sure you follow everyone in the list that's posted right down here below this video on my blog. And please leave some comment love at everybody's blog. And it would be great if you'd become a follower too. And if they're given blog candy, you want to make sure you follow the instructions so you can get entered for the blog candy. I'm giving some today and I'll tell you about that after I show you what I made for today's blog hop. Now I use the Simply Charmed cartridge and Elegant Edges. And this is a Father's Day card for my husband Wayne. So I use the Cards TV You're the Man stamp set. And I used, where is it? Hello Handsome, because I do think he's handsome, but that's my opinion. <laughs> and I used Happy Father's Day. I'm going to move this out of the way and show you the card. I went ahead and put it together because I didn't want to hold you up here when you got places to go and people to see, right? This is a center easel card, and this is what it looks like. And I love the way it turned out. This is the first one I've ever made, and it was super simple, guys. And then when you want to put it in the envelope, it just folds down just like this. And I did put another mat on the inside so that I can write a sentiment because i got to tell him I love him, right? And then it just sits up like this. I love it. Now, I'm going to take a minute and show you how to do this super simple card base. So I'm going to go get my trimmer and some cardstock, and I'll show you real quickly how to put this base together, and then I'll tell you where I got my cuts. And as always, I'll have everything listed at the end of the video if you'd like to recreate this card. So let me go get my trimmer. I'll be right back. Okay, this is a super simple card base. You'll need an A2 size card. And you want to cut your cardstock at five and a half by eight and a half and score it at four and a quarter. And you can see the score line right there. We're going to turn it long ways and put it in our trimmer and line this edge up to one and a quarter inches. And I'm going to move my blade all the way to the top. Put that down and mine has a lock and I'm going to lock it because I don't want this to move. Now, this part right here shows you where your blade is. So you're just going to bring your blade down all the way to that fold line. And there's that part. Then we're going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side. Move your blade up. I'm going to lock mine. And we're going to come down to that fold line again. Just line this up with the fold. Now, this is how the front of our card looks right now. We're just going to... Sorry about that. And I lost my blade. <laughs> now, we're going to put some adhesive on these two short edges and make sure we get these edges lined up and just glue these down. It is super simple guys. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And if you don't want to do this in your trimmer, you can do it with your scissors. Works either way. Line this side up. And now we're going to cover this side and this side with our decorative paper. Let me show you on this one. Just like we did here. And then this is the top part that becomes your easel. And all you have to do to form that is just take this bottom edge and take it to the fold line. You're basically just folding it in half. And use your bone folder so you get a good crease. And there's your easel. 
Super simple, guys. Super simple. It's just another way to make an easel card. And I think it turned out so cute. And I love this little shirt. This came from the Simply Charmed cartridge. And you'll find that little shirt and tie on page 42. And I cut the shirt and tie at two and a quarter inches. And I've got it popped up. And I just use scraps on this card. I mean, that's all it took. It just takes small pieces of paper and cardstock. So that was the shirt. Simply Charmed, page 42 at two and a quarter inches. Then for this decorative background to put the shirt on, I went to Elegant Edges on page 27 and I cut this top piece out of white and the bottom out of navy blue and I cut that at three and a quarter inches and when you put it on your easel you only want to put it on just the bottom half so remember that do not put glue past this line right here because then you'll have glue all up here and you don't want that now for the little stop down here that holds it up I just used an EK Success punch I've had this one a long time and I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and stamped Hello Handsome. And then up here I just cut a little banner and stamped Happy Father's Day. And that's Wayne's card for Father's Day. Now I'm going to get everything cleaned up over here and I'm going to show you what my blog candy is for today's hot, guys. Now for my blog candy, guys, all you have to do is leave me a comment under this video in the comment section on my blog cardstv.blogspot.com YouTube friends please leave your comment over on my blog it's much easier for me to keep up with them if they're all in one place thank you for doing that now I'll choose a winner from the comments that you leave and that winner is going to get three sets of Cards TV stamps. The three new sets, guys. So leave your comment under this video and just tell me you'd like to win the stamps. I'll use random.org to pick a winner and I'll announce that winner on Monday. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. Have fun and I will see you again soon. Bye now.